Hi, and welcome back to another car conversation, you guys. Happy Monday. Hope you all had a great weekend, and I hope you have an even greater week to come. Today's topic is want versus expectations. Let me say that one more time. Want versus expectations. Here's a quote that I love by Les Brown, and he simply says, want shows up in conversation. Expectation shows up in behavior. Ooh, let me say that one more time for the people in the back. Want shows up in conversation. Expectation shows up in behavior, meaning what you do versus what you say, because you can say what you want, all you want to but if you're not actually doing it it's, it's all for naught so want here's some wants i want the world to be a friendlier place i do i want that for all of us i want to be a full-time entrepreneur when i retire many people do i want to be a world-renowned speaker these are things that I can only share with you, my wants. But right now, these are my, my top three things that I want. Now, here's, here's an example of expectation. You expect people to keep their word. I expect people to keep their word. If you tell me you're going to do something, unless something serious comes up, you should keep your word. I expect a beautiful harvest when I've taken care of my garden. Now, I don't have a garden, but if I had a garden and I took care of it, I watered it and did everything I was supposed to do, I expect to reap a nice crop at the end of the harvesting season, whatever it is that I planted or whatever it is that you planted. That's, that's a reasonable expectation, right? And then I expect to see the scale go down as I'm eating healthy and exercising. You know, I'm not saying I want it. I expect to see that. Because I've, I'm doing my part. I'm doing all that I'm supposed to do. So I expect that. And I would, I would imagine that you all have some expectations in your life. Some of you expect to be successful in whatever it is that you're doing. Some of you all expect to have a happy relationship. Unless you get into a relationship and you don't expect it to be a happy one. And that very well could, very well could be as well. Sorry, you guys, there's a fly in here. But that's, that's a reasonable expectation that you should be able to have. Some of you all are expect next year to be a much better year than this year. That is my expectation as well. Because 2020 has been a year, let me just say that. But I expect 2021 to be even better. I expect that when I show up to speak, I'm going to have folks there that are engaged and want to hear what I have to say, okay? I want more speaking engagement opportunities. Now, unfortunately, because of the way this year is going on, a lot of things are canceled and they're just not going to come back this year. They're going to look to see if they can do them next year. So those are things that I want, but I expect to have a room full of uh, a captivated audience that are hanging on my every word. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm. I expect to get a new job because I've been applying for some jobs. So I expect to get one of those jobs if not offered all of them. So anyway, let me do a quick recap and I'm gonna promise, I promise I'll let you be. So I shared a quote with you by Les Brown that simply says, want shows up in conversation, expectation shows up in behavior. And I shared a few of my wants. I said, I want the world to be a friendlier place because right now, Right now, it is not a very friendly place. Right now, there are people who hate. And y'all know, I don't, I, I, I don't even like using the word hate because it's such a strong word. But they hate folks that look like me. And that's sad. Based on the color of my skin, because you don't even know me. But based on the color of my skin, there are people that hate me. And folks that look like me. Mm. I want to be a full-time entrepreneur when I retire. That's something that I, that is a goal that I have that I'm working towards. And then I want to be a world renowned speaker someday. That's what, that's what I want to do. Now, my expectations, I said, you can expect, you expect people to keep their word. I expect you to keep your word. If you tell me you're going to do something, just like you should expect me to keep my word. And then I said, you expect a bountiful harvest when you've taken care of your garden. If you weeded it and you watered it and whatever else it is that you do to gardens, you expect to have, to have a nice harvest of whatever it is that you were growing at the end of the season. 
And then you expect to see the scale go down if you're eating right and exercising. And that's a reasonable expectation for anybody to have. So that's all I have, you guys. I just really wanted you, excuse me, my nose is itching so bad. I think it's because of the, my next door neighbor was cutting his grass and my sinuses are starting to act up. But I just, I just wanted, because I don't want y'all to think that I have COVID-19 or something because I can't stop scratching. But anyway, um, yeah, that's all I have. I just want you all to fully understand what a want is versus an expectation. And I know for the most part, you all know that. But I just like to give you some examples because I want you to look at your own life and I want you to look at your list of wants. And if you don't have a list, I need you all to get out pen and paper, make two columns. On one side, you write down your list of wants. On the other side, you write down your list of expectations and start checking off as you accomplish those goals. That's all I have, you guys. Thank you so much to my newest subscribers. If you happen to stumble upon my channel and you have not already subscribed, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and tap that bell. For those of you that continue to support me in all that I do, I love you all to the moon and back, and y'all know the drill. It's nothing you can do about it, because I'm gonna love you no matter what. I'm gonna love you when you're going up. I'm gonna love you when you're coming down. I'm gonna love you when you're going in. I'm gonna love you when you're coming out. But most importantly, I'm gonna love you when nobody else even likes you. Till next time, take care.